Can you explain the conditions around Mr. Sapp's arrest in Cape Verde? Gladly. Uh, I've been advised by my, I am, of course, not a, a Cape Verde lawyer. I don't speak Portuguese, <laughs> but I've been advised. Uh, I've read all of the uh, uh, proceedings in Cape Verde courts that have been translated from Portuguese into English for me. Uh, I've been told by my colleagues who represent him, Mr. Saab and Cabo Verde, who are very good lawyers, that uh, he was extradited by Cabo Verde, uh, transferred to the U.S. custody before the final judicial determination by Cabo Verde courts, which is highly irregular, highly improper, and it's something that we have brought to the attention of U.S. courts. Let me also tell you one important thing. Uh, DOJ argues in its papers and its filings that the U.S. should somehow be influenced by the fact that Cabo Verde did not recognize uh, Mr. Saab's diplomatic immunity. They're wrong on two counts. First of all, U.S. has an independent obligation as a sovereign country that has signed the, the Vienna Convention uh, and enacted the, the Diplomatic Relations Act. It has an independent obligation to recognize Mr. Saab's diplomatic immunity, irrespective of what Cabo Verde has done.